Okay, what we have here is a Marshall Lead 12, actually Reverb 12, the coveted Reverb 12 that has the spring reverb tank. Okay, today we're I'm replacing the power transistors. I already replaced this one. And uh, one's a PMP, the other one's a PNP, NPN. They're both Darlington pair to... Uh, I had to uh, just kind of slightly pry this one up, slightly, easily, like that, and uh, what you're going to do is before you take these out, you're going to want to mark, you're going to mark the orientation because you need to come and test these that way you know that one was up you're going to need to test this with a multimeter and you're going to find out uh, there's two two leads I put it on uh, a diode test diode test which is going to test for conductivity it's either going to come up open or short. Uh, it's, anyhow, it's going to conduct. You should read a um, should have a resistance reading coming up, and uh, then you're going to want to put some of this heat sink compound on the joint. I mean, on the uh, the spot where it's going to go back. Tighten it down, you'll flip it over and uh, re-solder it. Now these are hard to find. I was lucky and I, I picked up a brand new pair. And uh, that's probably going to be the hardest component to find. Even though this is a printed circuit board, there is point-to-point -point wiring if you want to call it that. You can repair this if you know what you're doing. Um, it's a good amp. I love it.